guys I'm back and I'm here with a requested tutorial from I don't remember who but one of my subscribers wanted me to uh, do a tutorial on how to create a screen shake effect and I actually thought about it and I don't think I've ever done a tutorial like that so um, I'm just gonna show you a preview of what I'm doing of what it's gonna look like I mean and yeah so if you watch here that's the that's the effect that we're gonna get and you can do a better job of it if you uh, kind of fine-tune it but I was doing a tutorial and I kind of uh, I didn't record a good I didn't get a good recording and I deleted it and actually uh, yeah there was some use out of it because I can now show you guys a preview but let's get started let's just delete this we're using Sony Vegas. Doesn't matter which version of it, all of them work fine. Okay, and just drag what I just did. I just dragged a video clip into Sony Vegas. So just like that, just drag and let go, and it's going to be in here. And I'm just going to close this down. Um, I'm going to select Event Pen Crop. So you can use your scroller on the mouse to zoom in and zoom out for, of the video clip. And if you zoom in, you'll see the event pen crop button. Or you can right click and click on event pen crop. And then, then after that, what you want to do is you want to click on the lock aspect ratio. And you want to uh, kind of drag the one of the corners in so that you uh, zoom into the video just slightly, just a little bit, so that you can move it around. And actually, I'm going to delete that frame. First, you have to go to frame zero right here on this little timeline. Go to frame zero and then zoom out. Otherwise, you will kind of look weird. Just do that. Make sure you delete any keyframes that you created along the way if you were watching me doing the same mistake putting a keyframe further up so you have to zoom out I mean zoom in a little bit and then uh, zoom in in the timeline so that you can see each frame okay so go to next frame after that and uh, move the screen a little bit uh, I mean move this I don't know what is it uh, I don't know what to call it. Uh, just move it, and I guess you can call it view, or, and just move it back and forth so that each frame uh, it moves and it, it's gonna make an effect of it shaking. And keep going to the next frame and moving it, and it's gonna create a keyframe by itself. And move it again, and kind of make it a random movement like up and down and side to side and also diagonally across the screen okay and just keep going next uh, frame by frame keep moving it up down side to side diagonally So right now, if you watch this screen, you can see that it's shaking, as if there's an earth earthquake or something. And uh, yeah, when you get tired of uh, going frame by frame, just get one of the frames and uh, select one of the frames, and then go to the last uh, frame or the first frame in this case. Hold Shift and select it and that should select all the frames that were in between those frames and now right click on any one of them as long as they're selected right click on them click copy go to the next frame right click paste and so on go to the next frame after that and paste and again and paste actually I'm not I don't know yeah I will paste it 
okay until you have enough of the shaking and then go to the next frame and uh, kind of we have to make it slow down so it doesn't just stop all of a sudden and to make it slow down if you go to the next frame and kind of move it a little bit and then move it just a little bit again and then next frame move it a little bit again and then after that just keep going frame by frame moving it a little bit okay just a little bit and I think the red what the red means is that or yeah I think what it means is that it can't keep frame any further no never mind it just means that it didn't load the video yet never mind um, and yeah just keep going frame by frame and kind of slow it down gradually and now from this frame on we can start zooming it out so just zoom out a little bit and move it just slightly and move it again and zoom out slightly again and then again move it just slightly and we're gonna have to center it actually now and kinda zoom out so that it fits the screen okay and that should be pretty good okay now uh, let's play this actually I'm gonna put the draft preview to quarter so that it plays well so it doesn't glitch out and if I play it as you can see it's shaking and then kinda slows down gradually shaking and then it goes down slowly and then yeah so yeah that's the effect in Sony Vegas that's how you achieve that effect I hope you guys like the video and yeah just leave your suggestions on what tutorial you would like me to do next and I'll do it uh, there is a few tutorials that I will still I still have to do that some people requested and I'll probably do them next week and the week after that and maybe I'll make a uh, free intro so yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and see you guys later